realized this morning that I forgot my Interrail Pass on the train. I'm not the guy that usually forgets stuff. Like seriously, I check my pockets all the time, I check my bag all the time. Now I forgot my pass on the train. We're going to the train station now to see if they retrieve it from the train or otherwise I don't know what we're gonna do. So I don't have my pass yet, but this really nice lady helped me like locate it and they think this will get here tomorrow. Because we're staying one more night here in Amsterdam and I might get it tomorrow. Hope I will get it tomorrow. Just have to try and stay positive. Hopefully. Because it would suck if I have to buy tickets all the way back to Sweden. So yeah. I'm trying to stay positive. They probably have it. They probably will be here tomorrow. Lunch in the park. We found a pretty cool market. In like five hours maybe since I last did a checkup, and that's because we've had a lot of trouble with our Airbnb. So much trouble that we actually aren't gonna use it. Even. Well, I'm not gonna go much into detail. All I'm gonna say is that if you're gonna use Airbnb, Airbnb, check that you have like the address, like the house number as well, not just the street name, because that's all we had, and we thought we were going like. Ah, to a place where it's far away but not too far away from the city. But when we arrived there we noticed that it's actually much farther away because the street is really long. We chose to just say f*** them. But anyways, now we're at Starbucks, we're chilling out, we're trying to find the hostel instead so we can stay one more night because we're leaving tomorrow to Hamburg. And right, we have to check the price for trains to Hamburg. Because if I don't get my Interrail Pass back tomorrow, I'll have to pay, pay for the train instead of just jumping on it, so... Yay! Hopefully I get my pass tomorrow. We're leaving at 5, so... Hope. But anyways, I'll see you, see you later. Accidentally and unintentionally, Nemo made a bucket list thing. Tell us about it. So we're, we're gonna buy falafel for dinner, because it's cheap. And at this falafel place called Mouth, you can just fill your pita bread with how much salad and cucumbers and everything you want. Like, just fill it up. And it's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. And they have some sauces. And I did, we ate falafel yesterday, and I took a green, gooey, gurkish sauce kind of thing yesterday and it was really good so uh, I thought ah, I'll take that again but I took the one behind the one I should have picked and I think there was like some strong pepper like stronger than habanero or I don't know in that one and I seriously want I wanted to puke and my lips are still burning because that was so freaking hot he's eating my falafel now yeah, I'm, eat, I'm eating up Anna's falafel right now because I need something else. He also drank this whole half a liter drink like soup, 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 soup. Yeah. But, anyways, we found a hostel. Well, a hostel, it's a boat actually. It's, it's really cozy. I will show you that now. This is where we're sleeping tonight. It's basically just two beds, one there, and this is a bed as well, but we keep it as a shelf because we're going to sleep down here, both of us. So, this day was really, really annoying, waking up to finding out that the Interrail Pass was gone, and also the whole deal with the Airbnb and everything. 
and then also the falafel. But yeah, anyways, still not a bad day, just annoying. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. We're leaving for Hamburg tomorrow and hopefully I will get my internal pass back. So see you tomorrow.